I'm Jacob Morse, and this is Hashtag Headlines, our look at what's trending in weather and climate news. Let's begin tonight with Hashtag Executive Action. On the same day last week that Joe Biden was sworn into office as the 46th President of the United States, he went to work signing several executive orders. One of these recommitted the United States to the Paris Climate Agreement, the international accord created in 2015 to prevent the most severe consequences of climate change. The United States officially withdrew from the agreement on November 4th, 2020. By re-entering the agreement, Biden is signaling that his administration plans to take steps to reduce U.S. greenhouse gas emissions. The goal of the Paris Agreement is to limit the rise in overall global temperatures to less than 2 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels, with a target of no more than 1.5 degrees of warming. Nearly 200 other countries across the globe are part of the climate accord and have set goals to curb their own carbon emissions within the coming years. This is one of the steps that the Biden administration plans to take to address climate change, but it should be noted that more legislation will be needed in the coming months to fulfill the Paris Agreement and meet emission targets. Hashtag Lake Charles Radar. After five months without a permanent radar, the National Weather Service in Lake Charles, Louisiana flipped the switch on a brand new system on Friday. The radar was significantly damaged during the landfall of Category 4 Hurricane Laura on August 27, 2020. The radar was restored in just five months, nearly two months ahead of schedule, at a cost of $1.65 million. Crews from the NEXRAD Radar Operations Center in Norman, Oklahoma, have been working to repair the radar. All of the equipment inside the radome, including the antenna and pedestal, were replaced, along with repairs to the tower, fence, and equipment shelters. Most of the work had to be done 65 feet above the ground with heavy equipment weighing more than 8,000 pounds. While the Lake Charles radar was down, radars in Houston, Texas, and nearby Fort Polk, Louisiana, were used to fill in the gap in the radar coverage. Additionally, a mobile radar was brought in from Oklahoma to provide better radar data on Hurricane Delta, which struck the southwest Louisiana area in October. The warning coordination meteorologist at the Lake Charles National Weather Service office noted that they are thankful that the radar was able to be restored before the peak of their severe weather season in the spring. And those are this week's hashtag headlines. Your short-range forecast is coming up next.